guys welcome back to my channel welcome to or welcome back if you are new here my name is jade but if you're not new then hey but um in today's video you can see by the title i will be talking about um first year of college first year experience because i know it's back to school and i know a lot of people are starting their first year of college like i was last year so i'm going to give you some tips and things that i didn't know and some things that i think will be helpful for you and yeah let's just go ahead and get into what i'm gonna say okay so i know that when i was going into my freshman year of college i was super excited but nervous at the same time like i didn't know how it was gonna go i didn't know um how everything was gonna be the workload um the more responsibilities finding the balance of like everything, like social life, schoolwork, exercise, like everything. So I'm just gonna break down like a couple of things and I'm gonna give some tips and yeah, let me just go ahead and jump right in. So first thing I wanna talk about is um, like the first couple of weeks when you first start your first year. So when I started, I knew, um, well, I thought I knew what I wanted my major to be so when I came in as a freshman I was labeled as a bio major but at the end of the semester my first at the end of my first semester I decided to change that and like I'll just get into that a little bit in a second but when I first got into college like the first the first week which we call like silly week like syllabus week where you get just like a whole bunch of syllabus like in your first classes and what i really liked about silly week is like um well what i liked about the entire semester is that i really got to pick like when i wanted my classes like if i wanted them early in the morning if i wanted a later class um but yeah i got to pick my schedule which was really cool and which i think was really beneficial because like it gave me range of when to do whatever i needed to do when i wanted to study when i wanted to eat when i wanted to go work out when i wanted to do whatever so yeah that's the first thing that i wanted to talk about so the first semester of college was like dipping your feet into the water like like i don't know how it's to, like how else to explain it but like just really like getting your feet wet because whew, um it was an experience it was um it was very a very not i don't want to say rough transition from high school to college but like it was it's very different from well i don't know i can't speak for like community colleges but this was very hmm, it, it was a it was a big jump from high school to college okay so even though like i took ap classes like i took um what are those other classes dual enrollment like i did all of that like dual enrollment at a community college like this was still a really big jump from high school like the first semester the workload the workload is going to be more than you expect depending on your major like i would say like if your major is like undecided like you take a lot of like basic classes like your first semester your first or second semester so it's not really like really work heavy but it is still like like you're still doing work you know what i mean I don't know how to explain it but like someone as me like as a bio major i was coming in hot and heavy and we were getting straight to the point learning loads of material in very little time and it was just cram 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 and it was a lot it was a lot of studying it was a lot of sleepless nights my first semester it was a lot of staying up till the wee hours of the night to finish assignments it was yeah it was a lot coming from a bio major yes so with that being said i know like from personal experience that was my dog <laughs> from personal experience and from all of my friends experiences nine times well i don't want to say nine times like eight times out of ten um 
you will switch your major within your first year or first semester or whatever the case may be like you're probably going to switch your major and that's like really common among college students like you're probably going to switch your major so um yeah i just wanted to talk about that um second thing i want to talk about is whew, trying to find balance between everything it is so hard to have three meals three meals a day in college because your sleep schedule is way out of whack like way out of whack because you're either staying up late to do homework or you have a late class or whatever the case may be like your sleep schedule is way out of whack so one it's fine it's like hard to find time to get adequate sleep which is like eight to nine hours which is would be normally what is good for us but it's hard to find that so <laughs> then it's hard to find time to eat and i know that sounds crazy but it's it's like and sometimes like you don't want to go to the dining hall by yourself but i did i, I really don't care but some people i know some people don't like to go to the dining hall by themselves but but it is hard to find time to eat three meals a day so that's why i would recommend like buying like granola bars like fruit snacks like something that you can like snack on throughout the day because there might be a point in which your schedule is like where you have classes from back to back to back to back and that's the only way that they could schedule it out and there's like no time for you to go get lunch so you gotta have a snack it's it, it's hard trust me i know it doesn't sound like it would be hard to have three meals a day in college but it is hard it is hard um another thing i want to talk about is um there will be a difference in like you'll you will see a difference between what your friends are able to do and what you're able to do depending on their major like if you and your friends have the same major then obviously you'll have similar like schedule like workload and everything because you'll have like similar classes and everything but if you have like a friend that has a business major that is a business major or you have a friend that is undeclared major and you have a friend that's a, a pre-med major like you will see a difference in their schedule like you will see the difference of times like you all will probably be like super unlikely to all have a common time to hang out or study or do whatever you want to do like it is hard to have all of your friends or the friends that you make all meet up at a consistent time like it is hard it is hard to get all of your friends in the same place at the same time because everybody's schedules is different everybody's majors are different so everybody's going to be busy doing what they need to be doing so that is really hard so that is what i want to say about like trying to you know balance and because i think it's really important that you know you still stay social you still hang out with your friends but at the same time like school comes first obviously so you need to get your work done study then find time to do whatever go to the gym uh see your friends hang out go to a party do do whatever you know what i'm saying second thing that i want to talk about is you will need a semester to get adjusted you will need a semester to get adjusted you won't be fully adjusted after your first week or second week or third week you will need like and some people even need more to get adjusted but you will need a full semester to get adjusted to college it's a lot it is very different like i said and you will need time to really pick up the pace and be able to maneuver your way around like you will need time to adjust and that's okay because everybody goes through it and all your friends are going through it so y'all are all doing this together so you're not alone so the next thing i want to talk about is um make sure you don't overload yourself i know at my school we 
we don't have like a specific number of well you have a minimum and maximum number of credits you can take during one semester so the minimum is 14 and the maximum is 18. <laughs> my dogs are fighting <laughs> so the minimum is 14 and the max is 18 and i've had up to 16 credits 16 credits this semester i'm taking 17 credits so i just want to stress you i know people who have taken 18 credits and that the full that is the full max load that is the most that you can take and you will be busy 20 24 7 24 7 you have almost zero to none downtime when you take max credits so i would just say be really cautious to what you know you're taking don't overwork yourself because you just want to do well in all your classes and you don't want to slack off in any area so i would just say take as many as you would like and that you're comfortable with and that you feel as though that you would succeed in all of your classes basically so, um, next thing I want to talk about is making sure you make a good schedule that fits you, that fits you. Don't take classes just to like, I know like it, it's like really tempting to like take the same class that your friends are taking and like do all of this stuff. But honestly, like you need to make a schedule that is fit for you. <coughs> That will benefit you in the long run um yeah so what i want to end off on is that the first semester is going to be hectic it's not going to be an easy road but you can do it i did it i made it a lot of people have made it i have faith in you guys um it's a lot but it's not impossible so like I said, just be smart. Don't overload yourself. Um, don't party too much because I've seen kids go down the road and that are now on academic probation, which is you can get kicked out of college for not getting good enough grades. So make sure that schooling always comes first and that you're putting your priorities in the right places. Make sure that you eat enough and you sleep enough sufficiently. Like um we don't want you to be like worn out and not eating right and we want you to be healthy overall um but yeah that's all the advice and tips that i have for you guys um if you're going into your first year of college good luck um the best wishes i send your way and if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe why would you not and if you would like to follow me on social media, all of it will be in the description box below. And I will see you guys in my next video.